developed a scalable uh, cloud-based track and locates platform. And what this cloud uh, able to do is you can take uh, and uh, track any asset, be it a mobile phone, as well as what we're driving are uh, driving low-cost trackers. So this tracker is you're looking at a GPS, a cell phone, a motion sensor, complete tracker, ready to go, and available in the marketplace, lightweight, uh, it only activates when there is motion, so it's got long battery life. And it's coming to a price point where it can become a disposable asset tracker. So let's say you have high value cargo, you have vehicles that are being shipped across the country or across continents, you just put it, a BMW gets shipped out, goes with this tracker, and it's disposed after that. It doesn't need to come back. And you're able to monitor the location of the asset on the screen. What it does is we have GPS, but we also have a backend of using cell ID and cell NMR. So right now you can see we are inside the building, but we're still able to actually get the location. If I go here. So, so the whole idea is the ability to locate inside. or track or search inside. anything, whether you're outdoor or indoor. Yeah. And the technology which actually makes it possible is what we call the Surf Fusion, uh, which is running on our Surf Star 5 platform, which is uh, we have recently launched. And there, we are combining the multiple satellite systems with wireless sniffers and sensors and MEM sensors. David? Okay. So what we're showing here on um, this stand is we have a HTC Nexus phone and we have um, modified it internally. So it's the rigged up phone, by the way. And so this is a three quarter size battery. And at the bottom here, we have our Surfstar 5 in an engineering package, flash, and then tri-axis, compass accelerometer and gyro, and a barometer for pressure sensing so that we can do, we can detect which floor of the building you're on. And so we loaded this into the phone and now we're the Android location provider. And what we're showing here is a um, nice indoor map of the, of the hall we're in. This is the CSR stand just here and our current location. So if you take this unit and walk around inside, um, it'll show your position to about um, 10 meters, 95% of the time. So this is the comparison, right? If you look at a today's phone, uh, it tells you you're somewhere in Barcelona. And we are telling you, you are in the Hall 4 next to the CSR booth at the Mobile World Congress. And that's a huge difference in terms of the ability to add location context to all the broad range of applications people are starting to use location for. So the whole concept of our Fusion platform is that no one technology is the solution to indoor positioning. You need a combination of MEM sensors, Wi-Fi, and satellite-based technology, together with a back-end server that self-learns the, um, you know, the, the RF environment in the building, and then we use that to generate high-quality position. And really, this, you know, kind of makes you think about just in the future, what kind of consumer applications will be available with this quality of positioning. So in this case, who is doing the maps? So this is a, a Navtech map. So Google, Navtrack, all of them are now bringing indoor mapping in. I think even yes. Google has indoor maps on mobile world um, Actually, I haven't seen that, but I did see it at CES for Vegas. They for had the Vegas indoor they maps. Had and they're yes. mapping airports, mm. they're mapping shopping malls. So when you switch on, it tells you actually you have indoor maps available for all these environments. Yes. And we are bringing the location there. And then there are going to be lots of interesting applications which become much more intelligent uh, by using location everywhere.